what's happening. Well, heading to another wedding today. Of course, it's been a marathon of uh, May weddings, it seems like. And uh, well, to be quite honest with you, I actually get a break after next weekend, so I'm looking forward to that. I'll get a weekend off before I have another wedding. So, uh, you know, sometimes you just kind of get burned out. You're just ready for a break. I, I wouldn't necessarily say I'm burned out, but, you know, it would be nice to uh, get a break every once in a while. But uh, right now, we're headed back out to uh, Pensacola Naval Air Station. I actually turned the camera to face me this time because I'm actually in the same spot where I recorded the uh, video from last uh, Sunday, so I didn't think you wanted to see the same scenery while I'm driving. But anyway, uh, tonight the uh, wedding is going to be at the uh, Naval Air Station. This is a different facility on the Naval Air Station. I've never been to this particular one. I normally do uh, weddings out at the Officers Club and places like that, but this one I've never been to, so it's going to be a, a new adventure for that. Also, the bride and groom are an African-American couple, so it's probably going to be primarily African-Americans there, and they want a lot of hip-hop and uh, rap music and stuff like that. Stuff that I normally uh, don't play at wedding receptions, but you know what? It's an experience. I mean, I asked the bride, you know, what songs do you want to hear? She sent me a list, and you know, I think it's going to go great. That's usually the way it goes. So, uh, you know, with different ethnic groups, like maybe, you know, Latino or, you know, like last week when I did a wedding for those uh, the, the folks who... Uh, who are with the dance studio, you know, they like a lot of show tunes, stuff like that. I mean, you know, every wedding you do is going to be different. And, uh, you know, something you got to keep in mind when you think about that. So, I mean, don't ever let, you know, you know, you think, okay, well, you know, these are all African Americans. I don't know if I'm going to be able to, you know, do well for them, or they're Latino, or, you know, they're French, or whatever. I mean, you know, you know, you go and you do your best. I mean, you, t you ask the bride what they want to hear, and, you know, they'll, they'll usually be upfront and honest with you about that. So, anyway, it's going to be a great, um, a great day today. And the uh, you know, weather's nice. It's just freaking hot outside today, though. I think it's uh, close to 90, but it feels like more like it's 110. You know, in the Florida, when you um, when, during the summertime, when you when you get uh, all the sunshine, all the heat, and everything else, it actually feels like that it's um, you know 110 when it's actually 90. And we got that tropical heat too, so it's like that wet sweltering heat. So that's why I hate doing beach weddings during the summer. But uh, anyway, we'll be there shortly, and uh, we'll talk to you from there. All right, we're in here and uh, set up. It's uh, about, uh, let me see what time it is. About 4.40 now. We're going to be starting the reception about 5.30. So I'm actually done setting up about 50 minutes ahead of time, which is good because that's one thing you need to do. You need to make sure that you're here and set up and, you know, you kind of kick back and relax. You're not having to rush. That's always a good thing. So, I mean, I'm already dressed and everything, so I'm just kind of kick back and relax now. But I'm standing where the dance floor is, and I just want to show you my setup this evening. Now, I don't have a light tree set up. Uh, just because I don't have a whole lot of room and there's a door over there. You'll see what I'm talking about when I show you my setup. But anyway, right there is where my setup is this evening. You see that door right there behind me, and I know people are probably going in and out there, and I don't think that really have a whole lot of room there to set up a, a light tree. But anyway, I'm going to have the Revo 3 here. I've got the Revo sweep out, but it's underneath the uh, tablecloth there. I think I'm probably going to use it down there. But anyway, the Revo 3 is doing pretty good. And uh, I did take some park hands, and I've uplighted this room some. You can see back over there, i got a, uh, a light, park hand light over there to uplight that wall. Back over here behind the main table, got another park hand on this side, and another one over there, and another park hand over here illuminating this wall. So, you know, even though I don't have a light tree up, I do have, uh, you know, various uplighting effects I'm doing this evening, and, you know, I think that looks pretty nice. I think it's going to be a little bit elegant, and I think they're going to have a good time uh, with that. Well, let me show you where my load-in was this evening. It was real simple. Come over here. See those two double doors right there? That's where I loaded in. You see my van right back out there. What I did was I just backed it up right here on this big sidewalk, just carried my equipment in through the um, through those double doors, brought it right through here and right over there. So probably one of the easiest load-ins and uh, gonna be an easy load-out as well this evening. So uh, anyway, we got about 50 minutes for people should start arriving and we'll be talking to you throughout the night. All right, just a little after seven o'clock now. And it looks like we're, um, I just got dinner started here a little while ago. So I'm gonna shine you around the room here. And a pretty nice uh, facility. So we'll uh, be cranking up here in just a little bit with some uh, dance music and get the Revo 3 going and uh, I think it's going to be a big hit tonight.
that's it. We are done. It's about 12.40 uh, in the morning, and uh, the reception ended about uh, a little bit before 11.30, but I stayed after and talked to the bride and groom for a little bit and some of their friends, and, uh, you know, finally went ahead and got changed and then got uh, everything broken down and uh, brought back in. But uh, overall, the everything went good. I mean, the bride and groom were real satisfied. The only problem that we had, and really wasn't that much of a problem, was in the very beginning of when we uh, were getting ready to serve dinner. You know, went ahead and did the blessing, and traditionally, you know, the bride and groom normally go first, followed by their parents and the wedding party, and then usually the guests. That's normally how it goes. Well, for some reason, you know, went ahead and made the announcements that, that the uh, wedding party was going to go first. And uh, for some reason, uh, I don't know what happened, but but every, everybody else decided to get in line ahead of the wedding party. So anyway, that uh, that was about the only only minor problem that we had. But other than that, it went good. And uh, you know, like I said, the bride and groom were really happy. Now, for me personally, a lot of the music I was playing, I wasn't really familiar with because you know this was an African American couple, and all their uh, friends are African Americans, and. Um, you know, I'm, I'm really not familiar with a lot of the hip hop music they play because I just don't normally play it at a lot of wedding receptions. But you know, it went pretty good. I mean, I, you know, the bride had sent me a list of songs she wanted played, and I had some of their friends come up to me requesting things, and you know, we we're able to play them and all that good stuff. So uh, anyway, you know, that, that just goes to show you that you know, if you want to play to a different ethnic group or something like that, then you know, don't be afraid to do that. You know, just ask them. I mean, be, be upfront and honest with them and tell them, look, uh, you know, I'm, I normally don't play music like this, so can you help me out? Make me a list of music that you want to hear, you know, whether it's, you know, Latino or African American or, you know, whoever, whatever group it may be, you know, you know, you just be, be up front with them and, I mean, and they'll usually be accommodating with you. They'll make sure that, you know, that they get you a list of songs that you can go and uh, download or whatever you want to do with that and, um, you know, maybe you can get, a, get, get their songs or maybe they even have them on CDs for you that they can give to you. So that's, uh, you know, I wouldn't let that bother that you and you know don't don't definitely don't um, you know turn down a gig just because you know you don't know that much about the ethnic group. So anyway, that's a gig log for you. I'm gonna head home and uh, get some deed and uh, probably relax. So got another wedding next weekend again in Pensacola. So uh, you know marathon of weddings is continuing. It is definitely the wedding season. So until next week, practice and enjoy.